Good morning, students. Professor Azhar here. Today we, we will be dealing with uh, the distribution channel overview. Last class we have seen regarding setting up of price and pricing strategy and uh, buyer prospective pay, pay, payment options. We have already studied these all aspects. But today we will be studying regarding the distribution and online channel intermediaries okay so you all know the piece price place product promotion we have already completed the product and price part and today we'll be discussing regarding distribution part so distribution channel is a group of interdependent firms that transfer product and information from supply to the consumer and they are the people who are the chain from where from the producer to the consumer the product passes or services passes so here we include uh, a people like uh, producers intermediaries and buyers so producers the manufacturer and their suppliers or originators of the product or services intermediaries uh, firms uh, that uh, much buyers and sellers and mediate the transaction among them. You can call them wholesalers, retailers. Buyers, the consumers are users of the product or services. So they are the three people and the flow which happens is called the distribution channel. The structure of the channel can make or impair opportunities for making on the internet. So we have seen because of the distribution channel has developed in a such a way that we have seen a tremendous development since uh, uh, two years. I can say that online distribution channel is very fast nowadays and uh, you will get uh, a delivery pan India within five to six days or four to five days okay through the hubs the, the the way they have decided so online channel intermediaries so here wholesalers buy product from the manufacturer and resell them to the retailers this is a simple process retailers buy products from the manufacturer or wholesaler and sell it to the consumers there is another person called broker who facilitate the transaction between buyers and seller for a commission Agents may represent either the buyer or the seller. Both the side they can represent. So manufacturer's agent represent the seller and purchasing agents represent the buyer. So these are the online channel intermediaries we have. And you have already studied in marketing how this uh, distribution channel work and what are the different types of distribution network. E-business model uh, here, we uh, understand the thing uh, content sponsorship intermediary intermediaries broker agent online retailers okay so content uh, we have already studied regarding it what exactly it is so we, we have discussed uh, about content also so selling content especially into the e-commerce and uh, content sponsorship Okay, so companies create website, attract a lot of traffic and sell advertising. So this is how that content actually work. Okay, they create a content which attract the people when you visit the website and automatically that will create the sales for the companies. So some firm use a niche strategy and draw a special interest audience. Okay, uh, there are niche uh, only specifically made for women websites are there where they can go and uh, visit okay they can purchase only for the ladies okay that will again the luxurious goods where this can be purchased okay they use some sponsorship models where portals google yahoo msn they use it for the purchasing thing and this is all how the content works so here the Online magazines, newspapers, Pandora Radio, and Craigslist use the content sponsorship model. Okay. 
So content sponsorship is often used in combination with other models to generate multiple revenue streams. So content is the main thing when you visit in any website or any portal that what attracts you. So that is the most important thing which comes. So the content mod, uh, sponsorship model is often used for combination with other models to generate multiple revenue streams. For example, if you say buy.com, an online retailer, it is, you can visit it, sell ads on its site, generate additional revenue also. So one visit, if you are visiting one website, that will take you to the another website. So how you can proceed with it. Infomediaries. So an infomediary is an online organization that aggregates and distributes information. All information, what is there, what to be purchased, what should not be purchased. Okay, even infomediaries are website also, infomediaries are some of the, you, you can say videos are also available. So market research firms and product review sites are example of infomediaries. So market research firms, I don't know whether you have visited or not, but product review sites you have already visited, before purchasing any laptop or mobile phone, anything technology, especially when you are purchasing, you have visited these infomediaries. So some infomediaries compensate consumers for sharing demographic and psychographic information and receiving ads target to their interest. What person, where, and how actually he thinks. Okay, that the segmenting basis, we can do it on the area-wise. So next, if you see, we will find intermediary model. <clears throat> so here three intermediary models are common use of the internet. First one is brokerage model, agent model, online retailing. So brokerage model, in that we can find two online exchange and online uh, uh, auction. So brokerage model, it's all about the broker creates a market in which buyers and sellers negotiate and complete the transactions. So broker typically charge the seller and or buyer a transaction fee for facilitating the transaction, but uh, they don't represent either party for providing exchange and negotiation services. Okay. Some brokers uh, also charge a listing fees. If your product is listing on their particular website, they will charge for it. You have to register with them. And uh, these brokers provide many value added services and they help uh, cust attract customer, facilitate transaction also. So these websites are B2B also or B2C also. Okay, the best example, if you can say, if you want to trade on BSC, NSC, National Stock Exchange or Bombay Stock Exchange, you will find brokers. Okay, Bombay, BSC and NSC they, for listing, they will charge fees for it. For any transaction happens for purchasing and selling, they will charge some brokerage charges. That is an example. And in that online exchange, okay, that is the first uh, thing which comes, that is uh, equity and other trades, computers without phoning, visiting a broker, you can just place an order. That is online exchange happens. So online auctions are a fixed uh, price model, which has been now the past 100 years, you have been observing this auctions are always happens. So if you visit some websites called ubit.com or ebay.com or priceline.com, there you will find auctions. So here the pricing will be dynamic. There will be bidding happens. According to that, the price will be fixed, how it happens in Monday. And uh, agent models for sellers and buyers, so here, unlike brokers, agents do represent either the buyer side or the seller side, depending on who pays their fees, who is actually doing. In some cases, they are legally obligated to represent the interest of the party that hires them. So in the brick and mortar world, real estate agent who are hired to list a property must represent the interest of the seller also. Now, if you say uh, regarding uh, 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 this uh, shadi.com or matrimony.com to get listed over there you need to pay okay if you get one connection need to happen there also you need to pay that, that adds as the agent model hey, agent portal representing seller selling agents manufacturer agents uh, you can say meta and virtual malls are all agent that represent the sellers 
So selling agents represent single organization helping it sell it to products. So these agents normally work for a commission basis. Okay. So example, if you talk about the affiliate programs, okay, affiliation, these are all fall under the agent model. Online retailing. So here. Uh, you are purchasing goods and services from the online. Okay. So here you can visit any online retail. There is a huge options available for you that we call it at e-commerce also. Okay. So anything which is available online through retail shops, that is retailing. For example, if you are purchasing from agio.com, pantalons, okay, as Bangalore Central, if you have purchased anything online from these, so that will be called as a online, uh, this one, uh, mg.mg.com and even your uh, shopperstop.com. Okay, that those are all fall under the retail. So that all that is all, all about retailing, online retailing. Brokerage model that we have already seen, agent model. Then this is an affiliate program which happens. You can just see this affiliate.com, great producer, buy now books, electronic music about contact. Okay, so consumer shop there and consumer clicks and buys at the seller that is the seller.com, wherever you are going through. And, and you buy from books, electronics, music. And that what happens, seller pays affiliation. So anybody is affiliated mid between. So there they will need to pay because the customer is coming from that side. Agent model, these are the example. Online retailing, that, that just now I explained regarding this. Now what do US consumers buy online? If you just check the, the US, I told you to check regarding Indian market, which state purchase what? I don't know whether you have checked or not. If you go to Maharashtra, Maharashtra people spend much on the food essentials. okay? So clothing and clothing accessories are very high online, electronic appliances, other merchandises, furniture. This, these are how they purchase. But when it comes to food, beer, and wine, okay, computer software and toys, hobbies, goods, they are very less in there. They want to purchase it from brick and mortar. Shopping card abandonment. You all are experienced this. You have already gone through this process. 65% to 75% every shopping cart abandonment happens. So why this happens exactly? So high shipping prices when we are going to check out. Comparison shopping, we put everything on our cart. At the end, we decide which one to be purchased. Product price is too high. At the end, we will come to know these are all not fall under that particular discounted product. You will say you will get this much of discount if you purchase product, but uh, they will say these products are not available under that particular discount uh, category. Site requires a lot of professional, inf sorry, personal information. You have to fill it, fill it, fill it. It takes time. Then obviously you will feel bored and you will leave it. Site requires registration first because of that 34% leave. Complex or confusing checkout process, 11% to 27%. Not ready to purchase, 41 to 56% slow website or long process. So here 11 to 41 percent. So this is why the shopping cart become abandoned. You might have experienced these all. You have also came across these, any one of these problems while purchasing and you have abandoned your cart also. M-commerce, that is called mobile commerce, okay? So this occurs when consumers make a transaction with a smartphone or other mobile devices, how you all do, okay, or we all do. M-commerce is a subset of e-commerce, okay? The 77% of US population has a mobile phone, half are smartphones that enable M-commerce. Same thing with India also. Almost, uh, I think uh, every order goes through M-commerce only, mobile. Remaining like uh, applications you have downloaded, then you will go through it, or else if you're booking seat and all, so you will go to particular, there they use the uh, this uh, normal network. But most of the, Transaction happens through M-commerce. So M-commerce was projected to reach 11.6 billion in 2012, 5.9% of all e-commerce sales. So, but looking at present data, it is very high. 
square car facility in commerce this is not indian one this is an uh, international one so you can use this in india also this was started you might have seen some people near uh, your area uh, pawn shop owner and all they were having this swapping car to mobile phone but it is not got success in india because when it was came to existence suddenly after that phone pay paytm google pay uh, bharat pay all came in, started coming so rather than swapping the cards it's better just to scan the barcode and pay it because of that this was uh, not succeeded in india uh, but because of phone pay and i told you google pay and all so this has gone out and those payment have came up social commerce social commerce uses social media and consumer interaction to facilitate online sales we use uh, facebook also pinterest also we use it, instagram also product rating uh, recommendation to others and review sites allow for the sharing aspect critical to social commerce share it to people you will get this offer so you might i will i don't get any messages from some people but they will get with the phishing activity if you send it to 10 people you will get this offer so then i get these type of messages from them then i will ask if you get this discount please let me know that what happens so 18 to 23% of pinterest users also visited online retailers i request you to visit pinterest also okay that is one of the best website you can find out. okay so social sign in over half of social media users prefer to use facebook to sign in into website same case with you all also most of you sign in with facebook or else you will sign in with google account distribution uh, length uh, and uh, functions okay so this we will study tomorrow okay we are not going to study it today so if you have any doubt whatever we have discussed uh, till this slide you can ask me.